Hello and welcome back to YJ Yoga Class. <laughs> you see this thing here? It's a towel. We need the roll. <laughs> now, first timer watching my video. I've been folding this forever. So, take a big towel, fold it into half, and fold it into trees. Welcome back, everyone. So, once you have Fold it back into trees. Roll this thing, roll this tower into a sushi roll. Think of it like sushi, you want to wrap it really tight. If not, all the rice will come up. So make sure you get it really tight. Then once you got this, take a rubber band, put it around the roll. So once you got your sushi roll, you can put it aside. You'll use this later on in the class. And for everyone out there who has been watching my channel, thank you so much. And I hope you really like the class. If you have anything that you want to learn, just drop me a comment below so um, I can prepare something for you. <laughs> Alright, let's start the class. Hmm. Close your eyes, sit up really tall, put your hands onto your knees. Starting by connecting your sit bone down to the earth and lengthen crown of the head up towards the sky. So the earth and sky is this two very big energy so you want to connect with this two energy so one of the things that we are not aware of is we are actually living in an energetic world so everything has energy be it uh, the ground a rock a tree the wind, of course the sun, we can convert the sun energy. Water, water has energy. Basically everything. We live in an energetic world. Everything that moves around requires energy. So if you have the old school thoughts of an atom, whereby you see a round sphere surrounded by electrons or other round spheres. That is actually a very old school of uh, physics models, molecular models. Go and search online about the new model, about what they say about the electrons flashing in and out. So basically the wrap up of that is your atom actually has 99% of space so what we are we are atom right we're made out of atom and one atom is 99% of space nothing so only 1% has that electron protons things going on so what is all this space is all our energy and that is what you are going to work on today that is your intent for today your intent for today is to feel the energy of the pose. Which part, which part of your body needs to be activated? Or which part of your body is generating a lot of energy that is coursing through the body? So sometimes you can use this energy and redirect them into somewhere else inside your body, of course. So for example, you are in a lunge and you feel your thighs is burning, everything is burning. You know, you've got that feeling of like, oh my god, I, I need to I need to get out of here, I need to I need to shout or something like that. You will have that kind of feeling inside. So when you get that kind of energy feeling inside, it means that that energy is building up inside. For example, inside your chest, it's rising up inside your chest. Can you consciously write out this intensity and use this redirect this energy to somewhere else for example your legs needs more energy can you redirect that energy down into your legs so you can feel more 
stable and able to use that energy to help you move past that point of quitting. Alright, let's start. <laughs> Open up your eyes. Make sure you have a, I forgot to say this, make sure you have a block and a strap near you. Open, of course, your roll. Don't forget about your sushi roll. Come into a seated side bend with, we have been doing the left leg, so do we right leg straight, left foot back into a half hero. Right hand on the inside, left arm up. A huge inhale down into your legs. And exhale, activate your legs and send your legs away from you. While you're reaching your fingertips away from the shoulder, uh, from the hip crease. Reaching through your legs and power up your legs. Have a feeling for how that energy helps to ground you down. Continue to keep the activation in your legs. Roll your chest down into a forward fold. Strong leg and strong leg line of energy inside your legs. And gently release, roll yourself up. Switch over towards the other side. Left leg straight and right foot back into half hero or towards your groin. Oops. <laughs> Left hand on inside, right arm up. Huge inhale, lengthen up the spine. And exhale, reconnect with your legs and send energy out through your thighs and your foot. Then roll chest down onto your thighs for a forward fold. Huge inhale, lengthen up the spine. Lift belly, chest away from the pelvis. So when you lift it up, it goes that way, right? You scoop it up. Instead of rounding this way down into your forward fold, lift the belly off the pelvis and fold forward. Release and come back up. Coming into classical spinal twist. Have your left foot tucked under. Then your right foot cross outside of your left thigh. Left arm wrap around the shin of your right leg. Right hand behind you. Or, if you're more flexible, hook the elbows outside of your thigh. Now huge inhale here. Lift chest up away from pelvis. Exhale, revolve open the chest. And continue to revolve open your chest and spiral your spine out. Release. Switch over towards the other side. Right leg tuck under, then the left foot cross outside. Hug thighs into chest or hook elbows outside thigh. Inhale, lift chest up. Then exhale to revolve. Feeling for the spiral of energy that is inside your spine right now as you, do, as you are doing this twist. Can you feel it? 
ground down to your legs by actively pushing your shin of your right foot and your left foot into the ground. So you push and lift, spiral open the chest. Feel that energy. Release and come down onto your back for our favorite part of the class. Elbow to knee. Have your roll near you because you will need it later. Bend your knees in 90, interlace your fingers. <laughs> and put it behind your head, let the head rise onto the palm. Now, listen carefully, inhale, lift head and shoulders up. Hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop tailbone up. Exhale, reach both elbows towards left thigh, right foot straight up skywards. Pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, come back to center, bend your knees. Hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows right high, left foot straight up skywards. Pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, back to center, pelvis down. Hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows left high, right foot straight up skywards. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows, right thigh, left foot straight up skywards, pull belly down. Inhale, come back to center, hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows, left thigh, right foot straight up skywards, pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, back to center, hold the breath, press lower back down, scoop tailbone. Exhale, both elbows, right thigh, left foot straight up, skywards. Pull belly down. Big inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows, left thigh, right foot straight up, skywards. Pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows, right thigh, left foot straight up, skywards. Pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, back to center. Take the roll. Put the roll in between the thighs, down towards the crotch. Anna designed this so that you can reconnect to your whatever is down there. <laughs> Lift both your legs straight up. So the reason why we use a roll and not a block is because the roll is softer and you want to push you want to push it all the way down to the crotch so you can feel the crotch. Uh, interlace fingers, put it behind the head, let the head rest onto the palm. Take a deep inhale down into your lower back. Hold the breath. Spread lower back into the ground and scoop, tilt up. Exhale, squeeze the roll. Lift head and shoulders up. Pull belly down towards the spine. Inhale, head and pelvis comes down. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, squeeze roll. Lift head and shoulders. Pull belly down. Inhale, head and pelvis comes down. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop, tailbone up. Exhale, squeeze roll. Lift head and shoulders up. Pull belly down. Big inhale. Head and pelvis comes down. Hold the breath. Press. Lower back down. Scoop. Tailbone. Exhale. Squeeze roll. Lift head and shoulders. Pull belly down. Inhale. Head and pelvis comes down. Now don't quit. Whoever out there is doing this, stay with me. Huge inhale down into the lower back. Hold the breath. Press, lower back down, scoop, tailbone up, exhale, squeeze roll, lift head and shoulders up, pull belly down. Inhale, head and pelvis comes down. Hold the breath, press, lower back down, scoop, tailbone up, exhale, squeeze roll, lift head and shoulders, pull belly down. Huge inhale, head and pelvis comes down. Let's do one more for every one of you out there. Hold the breath. Press, lower back down, scoop, tailbone up, 
Axiom squeeze roll, left hand shoulders pull body down. Huge inhale, hand power comes down, legs down, and remove the roll. I'll take one deep breath here and wash it down the core where you feel a lot of burning is going on. Have your block near you. We are coming up into bridge over the block. Knees on top of ankle. Fingertips lightly touching your heels and arms out towards the side. Take a deep inhale down into your lower back. Next, your tuck tailbone, lift pelvis, torso off the ground. Take the block, put it the tall way underneath your sacrum. Huge inhale, lift chest away from pelvis towards the face. Next, you activate your legs, press the legs into the ground and tuck tailbone down. Left leg, scoop it in into a half hero. This is all the back bending moves here. So lifting chest away from the pelvis is a, a extension that was required by your back bend. And sending your thighs away from you towards the back into an extension like you do in a hero pose is also required in a back bend. I'll take a huge inhale, lift right leg in towards your chest and lift right leg up towards the sky. Next, you're moving right foot towards your face as much as you can. For some of you, you've got your knee bent this way, straighten up as much as you can. Release right foot down and very gently untuck your left foot from your half hero. Switch over towards the right side. Now inhale, right foot come in into a half hero. Next, you'll send right thigh away from you. A huge inhale, lift. Left leg up, skywards. Exhale, left foot towards the face. Feel for where you feel the energy is in this pose. Where can you feel which part of energy is being created? Is it your thighs? Is it the pelvis? Or is it your back muscles? Release left foot down, untuck right foot. Press the ground away from you, lift your butt off the block, remove the block. Tuck tailbone down, exhale. Lower your upper back down, middle back, lower back and come down all the way. Roll over to your left and pick yourself back up. Come into Dolphin. Come down into elbows and knees. Grab hold of opposite bicep. Measure distance between arms. Interlace your fingers or parallel the palms in front of you. Now take a deep inhale. Lift upper back up. Next, you wrap shoulder blades. Straighten up your legs into Dolphin. Deep inhale, lift, 
rib cage away from the shoulder. So instead of sinking down, lift up. Coming into dolphin with splits. Inhale, pick right foot up, skywards. Next, you open up the hip and send the foot up skywards. Feel for pressing forearm into the ground to help you lift up. Release right foot down. Inhale, pick left foot up. And release, left foot down, exhale, lower your knees down. <sighs> Stand up and come to the front of the mat. For sign, no. For B series with three pose vignettes. Now exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop chest forward. Exhale, hands down, step back plank. Low down, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhaling, down dog. Come into warrior one. Eagle warrior one. Inhale, left foot forward into warrior one. Next heel, left arm on top of right, into eagle. Huge inhale, lift elbows forward and up to somewhere around the face. Next heel, bow the head down towards bicep, releasing the back of your neck. Using this pose here to feel for where in your body is energy being created. starting to feel for where you can move this energy up to the head or maybe into your arms or shoulders release and come into twisting warrior inhale right arm out skywards make a fist and lift it up skywards open up the right side of your ribcage exhale right elbow outside left thigh left palm into right fist inhale lift chest away from thigh next you open up the chest Release and come into a pyramid with back traction. Readjust your feet if you need to into pyramid. Straighten up the front knee. Put both your hands on your thigh near the hip crease. Now inhale, press your hands into your thigh to straighten up the elbows and lift the ribs. And exhale, lengthen up the spine. Release, hands down, step back to plank pose. And lower down all the way. Boat with shoulder shrugs. I'll take a deep inhale, push belly into the ground, lift chest, hands and feet off the ground. Next, so stay. Now three rounds of shoulder shrugs here. Now inhale into upper back. Exhale, squeeze shoulder, shoulder blades. Elbows and drag the shoulder blades down the back, neck long. Inhale, spread upper back. Exhale, squeeze shoulder, shoulder blades, elbows. 
Inhale, spread upper back. Exhale, squeeze shoulder. Shoulder blades, elbows. Next, exhale, all the way down. Press back into down dog. Eagle warrior one. Inhale, right foot forward. Into warrior one. Exhale, right arm on top of left into eagle. A huge inhale down into your legs. Next, you'll press the mouth of the big toes into the ground and squeeze your sit bone muscle towards each other. Release, coming into Twisting Warrior, inhale, left arm up, make a fist with your left hand, exhale, hook left elbow, outside right thigh, press, right palm into left fist, inhale, lift ribs away from pelvis, exhale, open up the chest. Release and come into the pyramid with back traction. Hands on your front thigh. Inhale, press palm into thigh to straighten up the elbows. Exhale, lift and lengthen up the spine. Release, hands down, step back to plank. Come down onto your knees and grab your roll. Coming into cobra, push up with roll. Put the roll in between your thighs. And make it such that it won't block you on your way down. Come down into cobra. Start by activating your sit bone muscles. Squeeze sit bone muscles, squeeze the roll. Activate your inner thighs and press the feet into the ground. Hands underneath shoulder. Inhale, lift ribs up. Using hands to come up. Exhale, pull chest forward and down. Inhale, lift ribs up. Chest comes up. Exhale, come down. Now inhale, lift ribs up. Lift up. Shoulder away from the air. Next, you come down. Now inhale, lift ribs up. Pulling chest forward and up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale, lift chest up. Keeping shoulders away from ear. Exhale, pull chest forward and down. Release the rope, push back into down dog. Coming into arrow lunge, inhale, left foot forward, lower right knee down. Press the top of your right foot down into the ground. Now, you're going to leave your right knee off. So finger, under, finger first stage, fingertips underneath the shoulder, this way. Second stage, people, hands onto your thigh. And if you can go a little bit more, arms up. It is a good pose for you to feel where energy is being generated. Release. Come into lunge back bend, hands on head. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit hip into front, front heel. Then hands on your lower back. Fingers spring out towards the side. Huge inhale. Squeeze your sit bone muscle towards each other. Next exhale. Lift. Rib cage. Including the back of your ribs. Up and away from the pelvis. So 
So over here, feel for the opening in your chest and the upper spine. Not so much of a bend from your lower back. Release and come into Nomad's Pose. Half splits with front foot down. So hip on top of your back knee and hands on either side of the front foot. Press the four corners of the front foot down into the ground. Now inhale, lift ribs away from pelvis. Next, exhale, fold forward. Release and step back into plank pose. Come down to your knees. Set up for wave dancer. You will need the block. Put the block, the medium width, and long way on your ankle, in between the ankle, so the ankle can squeeze onto the block. Take the roll. Put it underneath your ribs and the pelvis. Wave Dancer Stage 2, hands underneath shoulder. Relax your belly over the roll and allow the roll to massage your internal organs. Activate your legs, squeeze the block, tuck tailbone down. Deep inhale, push belly into roll, leave ribs up using as little, as you, as little arm strength as you can. Then once you come all the way up, use your hands to press yourself up. Exhale, pull chest forward and down. Keep your legs really active here. Huge inhale, push belly into row, leave ribs. Using hands to help you come up. Exhale, pull chest forward and down. Inhale, push belly into row, leave ribs. Use hands to lift up and forward. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, push belly into row, lift ribs. Use hands, drag the chest forward and up. Exhale, all the way down. Push yourself back into down dog. Remove the row, remove the block. Arrow lunge. Inhale, right foot forward. Lower left knee down. Flatten the top of your left foot into the ground. First stage people, hands underneath shoulder. Second stage people, hands on thigh. Third stage people, arms reaching up skywards. And once you are ready, press the top of your left foot down into the ground to lift left knee off the ground. Next, you go towards the stage which your body is ready to do. Feeling for what kind of energy is running through your body right here. Release. Hands on hip. Thumbs on sacrum. Coming into lunge back bend. Now inhale, squeeze sit bone muscles. Exhale, lift ribs forward and up. Shoulders away from your ear. Release and come into no next pose. All your half splits. Flatten the four corners of the front foot down into the ground. Inhale, lift ribs up. Next, you come down. Less flexible people, hands on block. Okay, my block is all the way at the back. But if you can, you put the hands onto your block. If not, you stay up. If you're more flexible, you come all the way down.
So one way of feeling energy is to actually feel the pose. So what are you feeling right here in this pose? Where are you feeling? Which part of your body is feeling? Has a lot of feeling coursing through it. Release and press back into down down. Lower down onto your knees. Grab your roll and your block. Coming back into wave dancer stage 3. So have your block in between the ankles so you can squeeze onto the block. Roll underneath your ribs. Above the pelvis on the soft part of your belly. Hands underneath shoulder. Start by activating your sit bone, inner thighs, squeeze onto the block, and then press your feet into the ground. Stage, wave dancer stage three. Uh, inhale, push belly into row, lift ribs, lift hands, come up all the way, hands down, lift up. Next, you'll push us forward and down. Again, push, big inhale. Push belly into roll, lift ribs. Lift hands. Come up all the way. Hands down, lift up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale, belly into roll. Lift ribs. Lift hands. Come up all the way. Hands down, lift up. Exhale all the way down. Now inhale, push belly into roll, lift ribs. Hands. Hands down, lift up. Exhale all the way down. Let's do one more for everyone out there. Push belly into row, lift ribs, hands. Hands down, lift up. Exhale all the way down. <sighs> Remove the block. Remove the row. Push yourself back into down dog. Lunge heel to butt. Inhale, left foot forward. Pat right knee. And once you're up, grab hold of your right hand onto the right foot. More flexible people work with pulling heel to butt this way. And then for the rest of us, work with heel to butt this way. Exhale into heel to butt. A huge inhale, lift ribs up and forward. Exhale, pull the heel to butt. This is a very interesting pose for you to, to actually feel what is going on in the body. Where is the energy being created? Release and take a strap. Coming into lunge back bend with strap. The beginners, hands on block, hands on thigh, just working on one arm. More advanced people, grab onto the strap with both your hands. A huge inhale, squeeze it bone. Next, you lift ribs, armpit, hands, foot, skywards. Now inhale, lift everything up, not towards the back but up. Exhale, chest, armpit forward. Release and come into pigeon.
are taking pigeon with your chest up. So come into pigeon, then hands onto the ground beside your front leg. Huge inhale, lift chest up and forward. And exhale, stay in your legs. By feeling for the energy that is inside your legs, and you're not just collapsing down here, you're pushing the thighs away from you, squeezing sit bone towards each other. Release. Step back into plank pose. And coming into lunge, heel to butt. Inhale, right foot forward in between hands, lower left knee down, pat left knee. Next, you'll grab the back foot and pull the heel towards the butt. Sitting your hip down to the front heel. Inhale, lift ribs up and forward. Exhale, shoulder blades down the back. Release. Take your strap and loop it around the back foot. Next, so front hip down to the front heel, leave the back arm out skywards. I inhale, leave ribs, ump it, hands, up skywards. Next, so chest forward. Release and come down into pigeon back then. Chest up. Come into pigeon. Then hands on either side of your legs. Inhale, lift chest up. Next, zero, shoulder blades down the back. Release and step back to down dog. Hmm. Coming into your splits back bend, you will need a block for those of us who are. You might need one block or you might need four. For those of us coming into splits back bend, when we don't have a splits, those of us who have a splits go into back bend. Go into a splits, then bend the back foot, grab hold of the strap, loop the strap around the back foot, grab hold of the strap. And if you are more flexible, you do it without the strap. So you can take it up to the level that you want. As long as you stay pain free. <laughs> Alright. Come into down dog. Have all your yoga toys next to you. Now inhale, left foot forward in between hands and lower right knee down. Set up for splits. Move the front foot away from you or the back knee away from you. In either case, make it so that hmm, you can work on your splits wherever you are. So take your splits down to the level which you can handle. So if you are near a block, you can actually sit onto a block. Mm. 
loop the strap around the back foot. Then once, <coughs> excuse me, once you got that, grab onto the strap and come up. And my block is really flimsy here, so I need to put one hand down onto the ground to help me stabilize myself. If not, I'm going to fall out of the post. And for those of us who can really, really, really fill it and balance up, maybe both hands. Grab onto the strap. And inhale, lift chest, ump it. Elbows, hands, up, skywards. Oops. That happens. When that happens, don't worry. Just pick yourself back up. It's okay. And you can do how many times you want on this side. Pause the video, rewind the video, or whatever you can. Alright, now let's get out of the pose from this side. Very slowly, step back to down dog. And then step right foot forward into your splits back bend with a strap. Lower left knee down, open up into splits. I forgot to say if you if you are really having difficulty with putting the strap once you go into splits put the strap first before you go into splits I'm a little bit much better on my right side, it seems. So once you've got that, leave your left arm up. Hold on to the strap. With both hands, if you, that is okay for you. And inhale, lift ribs, elbows, hands out skywards. And gently release. Or you do as many times as you want to on each side. So once you got that, make your way down. You can pause the video, do many, many times as you want to. Our next pose is called Windblown Cypress. It is a shoulder stand with a twist and uh, a split. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. First, you need a lot of padding. We're doing it the, sh the forest yoga way, okay? So take your mat, fold it into four, at least four. So you've got a lot of padding underneath you. Mm, let me show you on hmm, this side. Let's see. To come into wind blown cypress. Come into shoulder stand. 
Okay? Once you come out into shoulder stands, work with bending knees first and see how that feels. Move your body 45, just tiny bit towards the side, using your right palm to hold on to you, to your butt. Move right leg away from you and left leg forward. Reaching through the foot. Maybe try the other side. See how that feels. Then when you're ready, you roll down. <sighs> Let's try that. Alright, let's work on your wind blown side first. Lay down onto your back, make sure you're padding underneath your elbow, okay? Come out into shoulder stand. We do the right side first. Move your butt towards the right. Then your palms on your sacrum. Open right leg to the back and left leg forward. Then inhale, come back up. Might need to readjust the butt. And reaching through the right leg, forward, left leg back. Then come forward. Come up. Or come down. <gasps> Do it on the other side. <laughs> Again, you can try this as many times as you want to. So as you can see, my left side is a lot weaker than right. Alright, come back down to the mat. <sighs> Coming into your back traction pose. Lay down to your back. Hands on hip. I'll take a deep inhale down into your lower back. Next, you'll press the heels of your palms into your thigh. Straighten up your elbows and exhale, pull belly into the spine for the back traction. Release, let's do that one more time. A huge inhale, press the heels of your palms into your thigh to straighten up the elbows. Next, exhale, pull belly into the spine like a Udiana Bandha. release let's just do a little bit of core before we go down interlace fingers put it behind your head let the head rise onto your palm 
Lift your leg. No, bend your knees in 90. Now take a deep inhale. Lift head and shoulders up. Hold the breath. Press low back down. Scoop tailbone up. Exhale, reach both elbows towards left high, right foot straight up skywards, turn right foot in, pigeon toes the foot. Next, you'll spiral your right foot up skywards three times. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center, hold the breath, press low back down, scoop tailbone. Exhale, both elbows right high, left foot straight up skywards, turn left foot in. Next, breathe it down deep into your lower back. Next, you'll spiral the left foot up skywards. Pull belly down. Inhale back to center. Hold the breath. Press low back down. Scoop tailbone up. Exhale, reach both elbows towards right thigh, left foot straight up skywards. Turn right foot in. Pigeon toe the foot. Huge inhale down into lower back. Next, you'll pulse three times. Pull belly down. Inhale back to center. Hold the breath. Press lower back down. Scoop tailbone. Exhale, reach both elbows. Right thigh, left foot straight up skywards. Turn left foot in. Huge inhale down into lower back. Exhale, pulse three times out skywards. Pull belly down. Inhale, head and pelvis comes down. Release and come into your Shavasana. Straighten out the legs in front of you. Arms by the side of your hip. Palm facing up skywards. Let go of your whole body. Simply allowing the ground to carry you. Relax to your facial muscles. Relax to your jaw. For those of us who are ready to get up, start to take a deeper breath. Gently bring awareness back onto your arms and legs. Roll over to your left and use your hands to pick yourself up. Have your hands to your heart center, bow the head slightly down towards your heart. Continue feeling energy as you move around today. Feel for which part of your body is creating a lot of energy and which part of your body needs that energy. Send that energy to that part of your body. Stay in feeling instead of staying in your head and feel how that inform you of a new physical, no, of a new energetic level. I bow to the light in you, namaste. We are halfway there in this circuit breaker, so 
just two more weeks, hopefully, and we'll be able to get out and place will be open, the situation will get better. Let's hope for that. See you around.